How Earthquake Happens An earthquake is a natural event that occurs when there is a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust, resulting in seismic waves. The main factors involved in how an earthquake happens are as follows. Tectonic plate movements. The Earth's outermost layer, called the lithosphere, is divided into several large and small pieces called tectonic plates. These plates float and move on the semi-fluid layer underneath, called the asthenosphere. Most earthquakes occur along the boundaries of these tectonic plates. Divergent boundaries. When two plates move away from each other, it creates a divergent boundary. Magma rises from the mantle to fill the gap, creating new crust. Earthquakes at divergent boundaries tend to be relatively mild. Convergent boundaries. When two plates collide, one may be forced beneath the other in a process called subduction. This creates a convergent boundary. The intense pressure and friction between the plates can cause strong earthquakes. Transform boundaries. When two plates slide past each other horizontally, it forms a transform boundary. The stress and friction at transform boundaries can also lead to earthquakes, such as the San Andreas Fault in California. 2. Accumulation of stress. As tectonic plates interact, stress builds up along the boundaries where the plates are locked together. The accumulated stress is caused by the resistance of the rocks to deformation. Over time, the stress continues to increase until it exceeds the strength of the rocks, resulting in an earthquake. 3. Fault slippage. When the accumulated stress exceeds the strength of the rocks, it causes the rocks to fracture and slip along a fault plane. This sudden movement releases the stored energy in the form of seismic waves, which propagate through the earth, causing the ground to shake. The seismic waves generated by the earthquake radiate outward from the point of initial rupture, causing vibrations and shaking of the ground. These waves can cause damage to structures and the surrounding environment, depending on their magnitude and proximity to populated areas. It's important to note that earthquakes can vary in size and intensity, ranging from minor tremors that are barely noticeable to major earthquakes that can result in significant destruction and loss of life. Scientists and seismologists study and monitor earthquakes to better understand their causes, predict their occurrence, and improve preparedness for future seismic events. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe more.